Look to another neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm fighting with a purpose, but I'm in it to win it. Now, if you're in it to win it, put your hands together and give God praise. Amen. Today, we're going to talk about fighting. I know some of us in here are professional fighters. Amen. We, we can pop off in a quick heart heartbeat. Amen. But I want to talk to you today about different fighters, and I'm going to tie it in with the word um, so you're not lost or anything. Amen? Amen? In early years, people have watched professional fighters battle it out for the world heavyweight title. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about boxing. If I'm sure some of the ladies are not really into it, but I'm going to break it down as best as I know how. Um, but boxing. Um, and the heavyweight title is like the biggest thing. It's one of the biggest things you can fight for. And some of those matches keep sitting on the edge of my seat. And the question I pose sometimes is what really impressed me, what really impresses me about these fights? Mm -hmm. Is it the way each fighter displays himself? Is it the way each fighter has their different styles? Is it the way the fighters have their different tones? What really impresses me about this, these fights? And so, sorry, I lost my page. And so we have different fighters like Muhammad Ali, mm -hmm. who was really known not just for the way he fought, but his mouth, mm -hmm. and how he could taunt people with his words, and he could. Uh, taught people by the way he did different things with his stance and his position and how he danced around all the time in the boxing ring. Uh -huh. And then you have people, um, other people like uh, Joe Frazier, again, known for his mouth and the way he did certain things in the boxing ring. And you have all these different fighters. Okay. And all these different fighters have different things. Look to your neighbor and say, I have different things. I have different things. About myself. About myself. Which makes me victorious. Which makes me victorious. Well, what is that thing that makes me victorious? Is it the way that you can taunt the enemy? Is it the, your style of how you can defeat the enemy? Everybody has different things of how we gain victory. And part of that is preparing yourself for the fight. Say, I'm preparing myself for the fight. So if we all have turned to Ephesians 6, amen? Verse 10, it reads, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. Somebody said, be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. That first part of that scripture is telling you that you have to rely on God. When you are going against the enemy, you have to rely on God. Muhammad Ali had, even though he did not uh, serve uh, had the same uh, religion as we did, they still believed in prayer. They, he believed that prayer is the key to gaining his victory over his opponent. Amen? Right, so it says, finally, my brother, be strong. We have to be strong when we are getting ready to go into a fight. We have to know, even if on the outside we may think that we are uh, not able to do it or not able to uh, uh, overcome this. We have to believe within ourselves and have that self-confidence that I can do this. I'm strong because I have God on my side. Amen. Amen. Just look Amen. to your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm strong. Amen. In the power of his might. That lets us know that we, our strength, we can't rely on our own strength. We have to rely on God's strength to get us through this battle, this, this trial, this tribulation, this whatever we're going through. Amen. It says, but put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. When boxers go in the ring, boxers put on what they call their uniform or their armor, as the Bible says, and their armor is boxing gloves. They wear boxing gloves, they wear the shorts, they wear the socks and the shoes. And that is what they have to put on to prepare themselves for the fight. Amen? Mm -hmm. So. In verse 12, it says, For we wrestle not against flesh 
and blood. That was my next scripture, Ephesians 6 and 12. You can write that down um, if you need it. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore having your loins girded with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall stand, shall be able to quench all the fairy, fairy darts of the wicked. So, in order to, for you to fight spiritually, you have to put on your whole armor. You can't go into this new season. Uh, we just came out of convocation. 